So I wanted to clear up some misunderstanding. And I did a video, was it yesterday, I think? And it's about defunding the police and the agendas tied to it. So I got a comment, and I want to clarify why I believe what I believe. Or if, if maybe it won't be clarified, but it, maybe it will help people understand a little bit better where I'm coming from. Um, I got a message from someone, I don't know if it's male or female, and they are explaining that defunding the police doesn't mean abolish the police, it means reallocating police funding to pay specialists who have been trained to assist, and they're making a list, homeless veterans or livable homes for them, mentally ill who can't afford psychologists and psychotherapy, homeless domestic abuse victims, sexually assaulted runaways, opioid and crack addicts. And they write, helping the above is not crime fighting, it is crime prevent prevention. Not solving the problems faced by these individuals has resulted in crime being committed against them or in crime by them. For example, a homeless individual is raped, a drug addict steals to pay for drugs for her or his addiction. For the size of the New York Police Department, Mr. Bloomberg, while mayor of New York City, stated, I have my own army in, in the NYPD, which is the seventh biggest army in the world. Okay, well, that's pretty huge. Um, they have downsizes since then, but I'm sure it's still huge. New York City is a huge place. Police forcing is something that needs done 24-7. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna get rid of cops again. I'm sure they are. And well, time will tell where where this all goes. But this is my response back because I I understand that it sounds good on the surface, just like everything does. Everything sounds good. They want to make it sound good to the population. Because they can't make it sound bad. <laughs> if they make it sound bad, who's going to go for it? So, okay, this is my response to it. I don't believe the police will be completely abolished, at least not at this time. I believe even more will be eliminated than they already have over the years. I looked at all the links you gave, but your one comment isn't showing up under this video, and I think that's the one that says about banning facial recognition from police forces. But that's a non-issue. And, well, let me, let me just clarify. He, he gave me another message, or she, and it had more links in it. And it was about the banning of facial recognition, which I am well aware of. So I'm, I'm explaining both of these comments, even though only one is showing up. So... Um, now I lost my please. And talking about the facial recognition being banned, I continue, that's, that's a non-issue. And the reason is that there will be privatized companies who will run certain technology. In other words, just because the police aren't themselves using facial recognition doesn't mean another entity can't that has ties to law enforcement. I could even use this as an example. Airports are using facial recognition. They can and will report someone to police using that technology, but nobody can say that the police use the facial recognition tech because the airports aren't, or the airports aren't police. Do you understand the loophole? They can also privatize police. They could be called by another name, but they would no longer be part of any government, which is where I think this may be ultimately going, but we'll see. As far as crime prevention, that would be great. But nobody can help people if they really don't want help. I believe this is all going to lead into the new world order that has been talked about even by government officials ever since Bush Sr. and is prophesied in the Bible. It's about total control of everyone on the face of the planet, and I mean total control of every aspect of your life. And it isn't going to end well for those who allow themselves to be taken by that sort of control. And... It's not. This is going to all lead ultimately into the RFID microchip that's going to be implanted into your hand or your forehead. And 
it's going to be the mark of the beast. And everybody's going to be tied into all this technology that's coming into play. But when that's going to happen, time will tell. Again, always, always, always put your faith and trust in Jesus, not in this world, because this world is crazy. And as always, have a blessed day.